this poll is to be believed, um, then the message that the Liberal Democrats are trying to push through is not getting through, is it? Well, first of all, yeah, you're right. You know, you wake up this morning and you see a poll like that and you're not you're whooping for joy. But that said, there's still a huge amount to play for. And whilst it looks like we would just gain one, I would say, first of all, it's a projection, it's a poll, there's still two weeks to go. But also, we are in contention, either first or second place, in 134 seats in that poll. And some of them are very, very close indeed. Um, so the, to, to your point about what's changed, well, actually, there was a big difference between the beginning of this campaign and now, just two weeks out. And at the beginning, we thought the Brexit party was going to stand. If you remember the Brecon by-election just before, uh, in those circumstances where you've got four strong parties, we won because we collected up that Remain vote and the Leave vote split. But then Nigel Farage came in behind Boris Johnson and we are now in the situation where it's three main parties in a system that tends to squeeze the smaller parties. At your so, height, course, Leila Moran. I would love for this yeah. poll to have been better. Of course, at your height. But at the same May time, the, May the we're 31st, not done yet. May the 31st, a YouGov survey for The Times put the party first in the polls on 24 percent absolutely and there was a time when joe swinson your absolutely. leader said that she was going to go into uh, number 10 she's going to be prime minister now it seems among both the general public and remain voters joe swinson is less popular than the party has your leader become an electoral liability no, she absolutely hasn't. And well, I would say she's polling so badly. Was, uh, you know, it was just three months ago that she became leader. I think that actually it's not just the, the issue here wasn't Joe. The issue here was that the main difference between that poll you've just suggested uh, we look at, which was in May, and now is that also you'll remember the Brexit party was doing incredibly well. If you look at this poll now, they're doing very, very badly. Yeah, that means that's, Boris Johnson that might has have been a tactical error by the Brexit, Brexit party. party but why I are you think... doing so badly? In that's the thing. Compared to last time, our vote share has doubled compared to the last election. There is an issue with our electoral system. The fact that you double your vote share and only get one more seat, that's not right. But actually what I would say is look at where in particular we are in contention. And that is against Boris Johnson in particularly conservative facing seats. We are the only party that looks like we're going to be able to take seats off Boris Johnson. And to those people waking up who aren't Lib Dems but maybe are Remainers and are looking at a Boris Johnson majority, I'm sure like me, they are dismayed and frankly probably very worried, the even a bit is, scared Lillian, about the what the future is will hold that you for might, that. We you have might to have stop had, Boris Johnson. Okay, you might you might be targeting the wrong people, though, mightn't you? Because Remainers might be inclined to vote for you anyway, or actually they might be thinking, you know what, I might vote Labour because at least they're giving us another choice. You have gone so hard on revoke Article 50. You have been so hardline on Brexit. You've actually used offensive words about Brexit. You might have put off a huge number of people not just Brexiteers, obviously, but actually Remainers who, frankly, don't like your attitude. So, Susanna, I think what I would say to that is we were really honest with people. We never wanted to leave the European Union. We were the first party to call for a people's vote. We've got Stop Brexit on our manifesto. We remain the biggest, strongest Remain party. And we've been really honest about it. But what I would say to those Labour voters in seats where we are in contention with the Conservatives, and there are, you know, hundreds potentially of seats where that is the case. We are above Labour in very many of those seats. If you vote for Labour, that is exactly what Boris Johnson wants you to do. Only the Liberal Democrats can take seats off Boris Johnson and deprive him of that majority, which would mean that hard Brexit that he wants, and at the end of it, possibly, no deal. Lord Heseltine yesterday was on a stump. I never thought I'd see this in my life on a stump, a Liberal Democrat stump, saying Tory voters don't vote Tory, yeah. vote Lib Dem. I think okay. those kinds of interventions are going to be very important. We've still got two weeks Lady to go. Moran, it's all you to are play talking for. as a representative of a party that was in coalition government with the Conservatives. 
You have a leader who voted consistently yeah. for the policy bedroom, uh, Labour obviously called the bedroom tax, which reduced housing benefit for social tenants, judged to have more bedrooms than necessary. Mistake, she supported a 1% cap on the rise in working age benefits. She voted in favour of cutting the top rate of income tax. I mean, this isn't... This isn't a leader that a lot of Labour, potential Labour voters, potential Lib Dem voters feel that they can, they can vote for. She's somebody who was at the heart of the austerity project. Right. So we need to focus on the future. I think whatever they may think of Jo Swinson, by the way, I think that she has been really clear about, you know, the bedroom tax was a, a fight we should have fought harder for. And we've said it was a mistake. She's been really clear about that. But on the other hand, do they want that or do they want Boris Johnson? You know, at the moment, what mm. the fight we are fighting right now is to stop Boris Johnson getting that okay. majority. Only the Liberal Democrats yeah. can do that. You've In this that. poll, it's absolutely clear. Okay. We are the only ones that can take that majority away from him. Layla. And any Labour voter who is, you know, prevaricating, bear that in mind. All right. If you are in a seat where we can take those seats, please do it. So you've, you, you've said that, Leila Moran. One of the things that people will be struggling throughout this whole process is the lack of trust that there is in politicians and lack of trust that there is in parties. You will claim that the Lib Dems are a party that can be trusted. However, there's been a number of circumstances for all the parties across this uh, process of the general election where things have come out that aren't necessarily as honest as they should have been. We've seen uh, some of the bar graphs. We have seen some of the bar graphs that were released early on. And now there's a couple of fake newspapers. Oh. Uh, the Lib Dems have produced newspapers in several seats. They're not fake. With, well, they've been produced. Well, this is the suggestion. They've been produced of papers that look okay. similar to local newspapers, uh, to the point where the Yorkshire Post actually had to put out an editorial saying we have someone peddling imitation newspapers around the country in the hope that those reading them will be fooled into thinking messages are checked and endorsed by the same local journalists. It wasn't just them as well. The Society of Editors calling for guidelines to stop political parties packaging their partial messages to eight independent newspapers. You know exactly what you're doing by doing this, by putting these newspapers out and hoping the readers will read them and maybe think they've got a point, isn't it, that they are being checked no. by journalists. So look, the I, problem is, so though, first the problem of all, with this, I, so honest, first I'll of all, come to on the dodgy, uh, can I respond though to those two very specific points? First of all, on the bar charts, compare the bar charts that we were putting out, putting us second, to the poll that you were just talking about. Actually, what we were doing is, and it, we'll probably use these numbers now. You know, we are the number two party, the ones who can take on the Tories in many of those seats. We've already we were had showing Lib Dems like apologise for those. Elections, We've already had Lib Dems elections, actually apologise for those, and, saying that they shouldn't have been put out. You can't and, defend and, them and, now. But, but, compare, but compare them. I, I will defend the fact that we are the contenders in very many more seats than if you compared our results to the last election. But and these that's newspapers what are misleading the readers the of those newspapers. On the newspapers, no, they're not. People can see, it's obvious, in the one that we're putting out in my area, in 13-point font, right under the main title, it says, paid for and delivered by Liberal Democrat members. These are in line with Electoral Commission rules. People know that this is put out by parties. And by the way, it's not just the Lib Dems. All the parties have done it for yonks. But Leila, this is within the trust. rules. You and want I the think public to trust know exactly you. You want them to trust reading. your message. You they know, know exactly what, what you're reading. You are blurring the lines. The, the, uh, the, the politicians are the first to shout about fake news, about things that's not real. And that's exactly what you're doing. You are blurring this the lines. This isn't fake news. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is a There's a huge difference from a newspaper being put through a, a, a door emblazoned with a Liberal Democrat face in Lib Dem colours that clearly says it's paid for by the Liberal Democrats and delivered by volunteers, compared to changing a Twitter handle to imitate another independent organisation or indeed setting up a fake website claiming to be uh, a site for the Labour Party manifesto. You're These imitating were both a local done newspaper. by the Conservative Party. You're imitating that is a, a local complete... newspaper. No, we're not imitating. We're not. That's exactly what we you're doing. We are putting out a newspaper. There is no law to say that you can't put out a newspaper. And we are very, very clear that it is a Liberal Democrat newspaper. And if you look, it is all within the rules. In, as I said, in, my, in the one that we put out 
In my so area, it okay. clearly says under it, are you in 13-point saying... font, okay. exactly what it is. I genuinely think that right. people know what they're well, reading well, okay. here. Calling it, it's calling it Lib Dem News might help. Yeah, and, and clearly the editors of those newspapers, those local newspapers, don't agree with you. But are you also saying, because you suggested you're not well, the only party that are doing this, that if the others are doing it, if it's all right for them, it's all right for us, we'll jump on that bandwagon too? It's not, it's not about us, actually. It's about what the Electoral Commission has decided is the right thing to do. I understand that those newspapers have written to the Electoral Commission, and as far as I know, and I know this because we've done this for... This is decades this has been happening, and if you're in an area that these papers have been going out, this isn't a one-time thing. We do this often to keep people up to date with what we're doing. Okay. The Electoral Commission will rule, and I'm certain they will rule in our favour. It's absolutely within the rules.